everyone, welcome to today's video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and hi if you're returning. Today I'm gonna to be showing you some products which are either natural, organic, or vegan friendly. So it's beauty products which I've picked up that will hopefully inspire you to make some new switches to different products that are more environmentally conscious and ones that don't have lots of chemicals in um, and that's it really we all want to do our part and yeah hopefully these will these will help i'll start waffling as i always do i've had some items sent and i'll point them out which ones i've been sent i'm not obligated to talk about them but they fit with this quite well so i thought i'll throw them in there and the majority of these items i've actually got from tk maxx tk maxx is a great place for beauty products you can get loads of bits and pieces and you get loads of different companies as well and actually you'll find that often the they're cheaper than say in other and re other retailers so let's start with the hair obviously over the years i've become more aware i obviously color my hair and now the problem is with that is I'm always going to be in contact with chemicals uh, unless I just let my grey hair just go all the way through and don't bother colouring it. But um, I'm very aware of how many chemicals are in my shampoo and conditioner. I tried this one before and it's Isano and it's coconut milk hydrating shampoo. Now this is plant based. It's 100% free from parabens and uh, sulfates. It is, the bottle is actually made from 100% recycled material as well, which is obviously a big thing because beauty products are in plastic bottles or if you're lucky you can get ones in glass, but the majority come in plastic bottles. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy about the, the fact that they are not only providing something that is natural, they're providing something that's also environmentally friendly. As many of you know, I am big on my against plastic uh, will do what I can to be plastic free. It's saying it's coloured, dry and dull and normal hair. This one's good for it. So um, yeah, and it smells amazing because it smells like coconut. So this is crafted in New Zealand and I got it from TK Maxx. A product I've had before for shampoo and conditioner, but this one's a styling product. So this is smoothing styling milk from Biolage. It's 98% natural origin, no silicones, no parabens either. I've always liked these products because I know that they are natural. Uh, there is, it's 74% biodegradable, 95% recycled plastic, no artificial colorants, no artificial fragrances, no silicones and no parabens as well. Once you've washed your hair, damp, put this on, will work its magic. But as I say, look out for this brand because they do loads of really good hair care. If um, I've used it all up, otherwise I'd show you, but previously I've bought what, a hair mask, that's what I try to get out, hair mask. Um, so I've bought a hair mask from them before and the clay one is fantastic. So, so good. So if you don't buy anything else from them, buy their hair mask. You've got to try it out, trust me. So these two products have been sent to me. One is a dry shampoo, one is a hairspray. So they are both natural. So natural origin of uh, total, this is 99.2%. Uh, and the dry shampoo is 100% natural. So that's, that's a natural origin, sorry. Uh, natural origin of total is 100% on this one. And this one is a non aerosol spray. It has rice and barley starch and oat extract, lemon, fruit water, sunflower seed extract as well. It repairs, protects and seals split ends. So hold and protect. And this is just your dry shampoo that adds volume and texture to hair. A body wash type thing. I don't like using body wash too much because I feel like it can actually dry your skin out. You can't be a classic soap, bar of soap. So this one's a handmade naturals uh, round bar. Uh, it's handmade vegetarian soap and it's almond and lemongrass, reminds me of uh, eucalyptus. But if you go to handmadenaturals.co.uk, you'll find them there and you'll find some other items as well. But it smells amazing. So another two items I've been sent, I'm not gonna try and pronounce them because I'm terrible at doing this, I always mess this up. So I'm just gonna hold them here for you to look at. These are basically free from everything. Silicones, parabens, yep, they're just, they're very, natural these are 99.6% of the total ingredients are from natural origin 
5.3 of the total ingredients are from organic farming. This one is 99.6% of the total ingredients are from natural origin. 5.1% of the total ingredients are from organic farming. So this is a leg gel and this one is great for, as far as I'm aware, like, you know, when you have sore muscles after the gym, so say for example, I don't know, you've done a body pump class or something and you're, uh, you know, you've been working your legs on those squats, you've upped your, your weights and you want something to refresh, this is the one. So it relaxes legs in three steps, fluid and toxin reduction, anti-redness, and calms and refreshes. So this is a perfect post-gym. Okay, it contours in three steps. So this one shapes, reduces fat accumulation, and calms and refreshes. So both of these are hypoallergenic as well. So the next one is barley balm. So it's bergamot and grapefruit. Uh, bergamot provides the soothing Mineralities found in a decadent tea combined with bittersweet notes emitted from floral grapefruit, leaving you with a clear, clean, crisp taste, freshness uh, personified. So it came in this little box. So there's that one. Right, on to the face. Now I have had a uh, uh, like day and night cream since I was about 16. I've, I've used it all the time. I love creams, I love serums, I love all that sort of stuff. So finding something that wasn't, you know, packed full of chemicals is quite difficult, but I think I found some really good ones. Again, I'm not gonna actually pronounce this because I don't know how to pronounce this. So there's one here that is, so I've got a face mask. So anyway, they, these are all from the same company, the ones I'm gonna show you, and they're all vegan. So you vegans watching, this is the one you want. So this is a face mask, it's a regenerating face mask. It's 98.9% uh, natural, but this is herbal blend, sage oil, organic rose hip extract for normal dry and mature skin. Eye gel, always recommend an eye gel, love an eye gel. So this is anti-puffless eye gel, organic, Chamomile extract, this one is, and that's vegan. That's for puffy eyes. Then I have the face cream. Again, this one's 98.9% natural. Organic Angelica extract for sensitive skin. And that is 98.9% uh, natural. And again, obviously uh, vegan. Okay, so I've got two serums here. Uh, no, sorry, face oils here. So facial oil, and I've got this from Rata & Co. Now I've had Rata & Co before, again, New Zealand, but this is a superfood skin brightening face oil. And I've had this skin brightening face serum before, but I liked the look of this one. This is vegan friendly. It's uh, paraben free and it is uh, no animal testing. It's um, with broccoli seed oil, sorry. So there's little broccolis on the side. And yeah, so it helps brighten, obviously. Um, yeah, and I've really got on with them before. So this is from TK Maxx again. Okay, this one is sea plankton, seahorse plankton, uh, high definition facial oil. And I got this from TK Maxx, but they sell it in Holland and Barrett. So, and it's far more expensive in Holland and Barrett. This was three ninety nine in TK Maxx. So go get it from TK Maxx. And it is fantastic. It's so good. Honestly, one of the best facial oils I've tried. It's a sea kelp, biologically proven microalgae to plump and protect skin, reducing the appearance of wrinkles. And that is in like your sort of organic um, beauty bits in Holland and Barrett as well. So last thing uh, is toothpaste, toothpaste. Yeah, so obviously toothpaste is something we use every day, twice a day, hopefully. Yeah, full of full of stuff in it. And I found this Eco Denta, and it's a super natural oral care. And this one is brilliant whitening toothpaste, and it has mint, essential oil, sage extract, and calidant. <laughs> calidant, I think it is. And it has fluoride. Um, but when I looked on it, it says, one for the vegans, this one's vegan friendly. Uh, ingredients uh, which have a natural origin is 99%. It's approved by dentists and it strengthens enamel. There you go. So that is Eco Denta. So do let me know if you have any recommendations. I know there's so many products out there and if you're watching this, you're probably already interested in it anyway. Hopefully I've given you some inspiration, but if you know of something that I have got to try that is either natural, organic, um, vegan, uh, or uh, you know, something that is more of a natural route 
please do let me know and obviously let me know about any products which are from recycled plastics uh, so the bottles etc and if they're biodegradable I'd really love to know so with that in mind uh, last thing nothing to do with beauty but something I wanted to do a shout out about um, I actually got this from a reader magazine called uh, Surf Girl and I've bought many recycled bits and bobs um, reusable coffee cups that sort of thing and this is turtle bags and I had my products in it originally but this is a nice little shopping bag <laughs> I love it it's so good so then I managed to get all my products in this shopping bag so if you head over to Surf Girl uh, magazine website they've got a, like I think they call it Beach Beauty you can get that on there they've also got some other stuff uh, which is environmentally friendly and gives you a bit of an idea of um, you know some great little switches and bits and bobs so do check that out but thank you so much for watching I hope this hasn't been too boring and I hope I've waffled too much hopefully I will be doing a bit more um, in video other than just my travel stuff I really do want you to keep watching so do let me know if there's something you want me to cover and that's it thanks guys love you